Today we're talking about bleaching skin and like dark skin and all of this like whole shenanigans. Right. And the guys are going for the lighter skin girls. Have you ever considered bleaching your skin? No, I have. You have? Mm. You have considered it? Yeah. Oh, when was this? Oh lord. And oh yes, I wanted to tell you a story of how I went to this house gathering. Mm with like nigerian boys and recent? yeah very recent though. you're not that dark is not a compliment No, I didn't. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi. <laughs> Today I'm here with my friend Glory. Hi. Who has I'm a YouTube Glory. channel as well. You can definitely check it out. And Today we're doing, she's going to do my makeup, you guys. I'm going to let someone, I don't think, have I ever let anyone do my makeup? I don't think I have. <laughs> I don't think so. No, I used to, oh, Shima used to do my makeup. Shima used to do your makeup? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. How was it? It was really good. <laughs> Shima. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so she did, today she's going to do my makeup. We do very different makeup. She's like more on a neutral side and I'm more on a bow in your face. Like, I'm um, here yeah. <laughs> kind of makeup, but try to just maybe do it more like you. Oh, I should do my type of makeup. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> she was, uh, she's not going to go in with an orange eyeshadow. No, nope, not me. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> so she's going to just, I'm just going to let her do her thing. I'm not interfering in any way. And let's we're see. We're also going to be talking about. Yeah, we're also like just going to talk about some random stuff. So. You're not telling me you did my hair so. All right, you guys. I did her hairstyle. Oh my god, this is so. This is artistry right here. I did this. Can you like give them a good? Mm hmm. I did this, y'all. I did this. <laughs> so I did on her YouTube channel. You guys need to go and check it out, like because I feel like I really nailed it. And we also did like a get to know me tag. Is that Not what it get is? Get to know me. How well do you know? Oh, how friend? well do you know your friend? <laughs> I feel like I nailed it. I did very well. well and see. the hair shut up. <laughs> and the hairstyle as well. So you can just go and check it out and see how this came to happen. How it came to fruition. And if you're into like hairstyles and like natural, natural hair type of stuff, you definitely want to stick around. Subscribe to her because she gives you content back to back, okay? Don't if you want your hair. <laughs> Don't like if you want your hair to grow longer, if you want your hair to look sleek, if you want some dope ass hair cells she it's got you eye. okay I not mm -hmm. just natural hair even just yeah. like other things too. vlogs yeah. and stuff as yeah. well she's amazing check her out so if you want to see how this makeup thing is going to work out just keep on watching and we're going to like talk about stuff too. and subscribe yeah yes. subscribe guys thank you subscribe. thank you all right <laughs> it's, a mess. it's so weird doing your makeup man it's like up mm. closing your in your business i know mm-hmm Mm. Mama, you have different brows from me. Hmm? You have different. Yeah, yeah. I don't have eyebrows. <laughs> you, your eyebrows have actually grown. No. Mm -hmm. They have. No. Yeah. Why? Well, I used to say anything on your eyebrows before. You guys are just shady ass motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, they've grown. All right. Oh lord, guide my hand. <laughs> don't move. Eyebrows are really important. You should know this, and they are the most difficult thing to do on someone else's yep. face. Eyebrows frame your entire face and I'm look. Mm, I'm not going to be very sure of my eyebrow skills right now. Look at me. Oh Lord. You would have just drawn your eyebrows <laughs> at this rate. Hmm. 
The eyebrows, let me see. I like this one, but this one, I have a problem with it. <coughs> Man, we're just going to manage it like that, guys. Yep. But now I feel this one is not very straight. Mm, it's not bad, it's not bad, I think. Right, we can cope. We can cope. <laughs> we can cope with it. And now we're done with the eyebrows. We're going to get into our discussion today. We're talking about bleaching skin and like dark skin and all of this like whole shenanigans. Right? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, first of all, do you think it's okay to bleach your skin? Well. Coming from someone who is very against bleaching, so it's not okay. it is not okay because I can't even be optimistic or open minded about it. But there are people, let me be a devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are people, especially, let me just speak from my country where I come from. I can't mm -hmm. say Africa. So, especially like in Nigeria, this is like being light skin is like beauty standards. And it's like it's if what you're they not perceive as beautiful. Okay, so it's what they perceive as beauty standard and it's like if you're not light skinned, you're not beautiful. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to a dark skinned girl that want to like bleach her skin in order to be beautiful? Sis don't do it. But you can't just tell her don't do it. As far as she's concerned, mm -hmm. she needs she needs look, to be lighter yeah in order to be deemed as beautiful i feel like you just need i don't know i feel this is a personal thing you just need to be able yeah. to understand that i feel like that too because just just in general let's be like realistic i feel like okay i guess the point i'm trying to make is that other than your personal choices and everything i feel like society also plays a role in I thought I was mixing for myself. I went to over mix. Mix a different color. Oh, it's light. What? It's light. It's light. Oh my god. Just put the. Let me put it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I can. It's still light. <clears throat> you want to sound straight? <laughs> Anyhow, you come out. <laughs> we'll do this. Anyways, <laughs> uh -huh, as we we're saying. Mm. Oh yeah, I was saying. Okay, let me go you back can't to just my tell example. Her, don't do it. Let me even go back to like my example of like in Nigeria how it's deemed beauty standards. Mm -hmm. I like how I feel like there's so many things wrong with the sentence I'm about to say. Okay, you see. It. But yeah, but a lot of times, even guys like when it comes to like relationships and stuff they go for the lighter guys skin go girl. for the lighter skin girl and being a girl in like that kind of society that it, you're made to feel like you're not you need enough. to have a man or whatever hmm? i'm i'm trying to i'm making a point <laughs> okay. so it's like you're under the pressure of like maybe being in a relationship or whatever and the guys are going for the lighter skin girls and oh like at that young age yeah you yeah yeah you need to be so you feel like you want to like match their standard oh yeah to in order to like maybe have these perks or whatever should i unbutton my shirt a little mm, i don't know maybe it's a choice <laughs> I don't even know if I'm blending out this foundation because this thing is just entering your skin. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, is this the, the beauty blender that is just mm, my It's my skin. Mm -mm. Hmm. I get piercing now. Oh, 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 <laughs> sorry, sis. So, oh, now I need to blend out this <laughs> concealer under your eyebrows. <laughs> Cause it, <laughs> Cause it's a, 
You're just there. You're just going with the foundation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like see. we're talking about bleaching in the Nigeria. Okay, for okay. I kind of brought it narrowed it down to the Nigerian atmosphere. Mm, let's just narrow it down because that's where we're from and that's yeah, where we know. Yeah, yeah, okay. And what like what really causes people to bleach? What makes them to bleach? Why do you feel like you have to look a certain way in order to, you know? And it's crazy. And they even what? Like you grow up hearing things like don't go out, you're going to get too dark, like there's something wrong with yeah, being they too make dark. Being dark look yeah, like it's a bad thing. Or I tell people I'm dark skinned, they're like, No, you're not that dark and I'm like, uh Okay. I'm dark Am I dark. yellow? <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly, I'm like I'm that dark, like it's not a problem. Like exactly They make it seem like it's a problem. Don't call yourself black. But I'm black. Do I look green to you? Do I look green? I'm I swear. You. It's like it's not it's it's not a problem. What are some of the reasons you think people bleach? I feel like um I the men thing, it's actually a real thing because I've seen that on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Men? Yeah, like trying oh, to because um, men are more like attracted. It's not even the it is kind of the reality. I don't know about right now because I've not been in Nigeria in so long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I look so tiny next to you. Are you How serious? is that possible? Because <laughs> I'm big. Hello. <laughs> Anyways. I'm using my foundation as a concealer because I apply too much. Oh yeah, it's true. You didn't even tell them everything you use. She mixed in Huda and Huda Beauty Fenty. and Fenty Beauty. And Fenty Beauty. Yeah, because my foundation is a little too dark for me. Yeah. So she kind of mixed it with hers. Yep. And mine is pretty light for me. So it's like a blend. Yeah, so we're mixing it up and trying to like figure things out. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah. I feel like the guy thing is, a, is definitely a factor. Yeah. Cause you just kind of, I can imagine how that would affect like a younger. I know generation. I'm young too, but like a younger girls. Mm -hmm. A younger girls. A younger girls. <laughs> oh okay. Um, point of view or the way she sees herself. Or esteem yeah. And things like that. Yeah, and usually, if, I'm not sure if we really have beauty pageants like that in Nigeria. But I just feel like you feel the favoritism, you know, mm -hmm. of light skin. Because me, generally, I've experienced growing up when yeah. I had lighter skinned friends. Mm -hmm. And maybe guys are coming to talk mm -hmm. to They always go for the lighter skinned ones. Yeah. I was not paid because I know... Like, you know you fine. You fine, boo. <laughs> but there are some people that need that reassurance that they are yeah. beautiful. So that it's not necessarily because they are light, even though I feel like sometimes it is. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it is. Yeah, sometimes it is, but but just honestly, there are men out there. Just that acknowledge would... that your your like you're beautiful. Your skin tone is beautiful, and you don't need someone else to approve of it. Yeah, for you to understand. <laughs> No, really, like just don't get tired. Like it's so funny how this thing. I'm not even doing anything. Do you get? It's going. It's in. just going into your skin. Yeah. This is this is so <laughs> nice. Like unfair. <laughs> and at the same time, do you get? It? Some of us we have to be plugging the face. <laughs> <Like>, plugging. <laughs> like seriously, we have to plug the face for the makeup to go in. Like oh, is it this? It's your skin. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, we're going right. somewhere. I guess so. I hope so. Should I have taken off my earrings? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Would you go to the to the makeup artist with ear earrings? Shut up, Zuri. Now she's doing too much. I just asked. Should I have to... <laughs> She's doing way too much. Okay, um now I'm going to bake her face. Or should I do your eye shadow first? I don't know. I mean probably bake. Because you don't want eyeshadow fallout on my face, just the kids. <laughs> That's wow. <laughs> yeah, because it'll stick to the concealer. 
So I'm using this Laura Messier. But yeah, I think maybe we should talk about like our personal experiences. Oh right yeah, now. that's probably like yeah, good starting point. But considering I'm dark skin and I'm also dark skin. Yeah. But she's just a darker shade. Yeah. But we are considered dark skin in mm -hmm. the society. Anyways, um, personally, do you have light skin family? No. Mm. No. Actually, no. I do not. I only so have light skin friends. Didn't feel I do not have. Home. Yeah. I I wanted to say I didn't have like the pressure of yeah. dark skin. Oh. Um, from my family, I didn't have like the pressure of dark skin. Yeah. Directly from my family, maybe yeah. school. Yeah. Friends. Because you had friends. Yes. That's where I would say most of my most of the skin tone pressure came up. Yeah. But was bro, there any obvious type of um apart from the one I mentioned earlier where maybe you know in secondary school when guys are coming to toast your friends. Yeah, other than that, like anyone ever like speak to you directly about being dark skin? No. How about you? Yeah. Come on, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> But luckily enough, like it ne it's not something that bothered me. Well, what did the person say? I grew up in a household. Just in general, I've had like comments like that, like "Oh, you're so dark" or whatever. But yeah, I've I grew up in a household like within just my house, like my Morphe palette to do her the 39 eyeshadow morphe 39 a, yes so we continue right so i think luckily for me i grew up in a household where like okay first of all within like my intimate household mm -hmm. we were not like dark skin but uh, sorry we were not light skin mm. but i was the darkest okay I am the darkest. <laughs> I don't know why you keep saying what. <laughs> I swear, I am the darkest. I do have like really light skin cousins though, and aunts, uncles, mm -hmm. and like really close, not like distant cousins, not that. Like right. literally, Direct my mom's cousins. sister is light skinned, her kids are light skinned, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But luckily for me, I grew up in a household where like beauty was not even something that was. A problem like yeah it was not even it. something that anyone acknowledged yeah like nobody like nobody cared <laughs> i swear like it was not something i grew up with no i didn't even grow up with people telling me oh my god you're beautiful like it's not something anyone acknowledged yeah it's just like oh you are this person okay, yeah let's go out. just in general just yeah. have a good character like things like that if you're like not nice or nasty or rude or things like that those are things that people would like acknowledge in my household mm -hmm. so i paid more attention to those things than anything else so even if people like came for like my skin oh my god like your dark skin or like they make like random jokes that i can't even really remember mm -hmm. but like jokes that people would laugh and be like oh, 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 like she's dark i would just be like yeah i'm dark okay am i supposed to <laughs> <laughs> like I, I was not hurt, you get it. I don't know how to explain. If you're trying to talk about my skin tone to hurt my feelings, it's like like I was not, I didn't understand why I was like it's like okay. I'm dark skin, I know okay. <laughs> Honestly, like you just have to get to the point where it's just okay, yeah. I am dark skin. What do you want to do about it? It's the way I was created, it's the way I am. Yeah. I'm not changing that. So yeah. if you like me okay if you don't like me do sister so whatever it takes even if it there. means like telling yourself you're beautiful every day mm. just until like your brain actually like establishes it and like you know you're beautiful and it's not even about your skin tone or anything like that it's just because you're beautiful that's just why so guys hold on hold on mm -hmm. i've come to a problem <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. No, I'm serious. What is it? We have different eyelids. Mm -hmm. Do you get? No. Oh. You have wooded eyelids. Yeah. And I don't know how to go about this. Oh, I'm going, thinking. You're going to figure it out. Because the type of makeup I have on right now is just this color I applied on my eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, should I leave it like this? Or should I do something extra? It's up to you. You don't have to do anything extra. You can still use like the colors you want to use. 
I like this neutral color. Let me just add a little bit more, mm -hmm. you know, to make it pop. So they will know that there's eyeshadow on it. I don't know how to pack eyeshadow on eye. Oh, because of having in the other eyes. I'm telling you. How do you even do your makeup? You mm -hmm. try. Yes. Like, I like the fact that you on that. So it is like Yes. Powerful. And then you now know how to, like, bring out your colors. Like, actually, hmm, that was nice. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I think that's it. I'm done with the eyeshadow guys. I can't come and kill myself. <laughs> Do you apply this it? better be good because we're recording another video after this, so Do it you better be good. on your eyes. Mm. You don't okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. What you when I'm doing this island I look down. <laughs> don't look up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop turning your eye eyeball, <laughs> please. <laughs> Keep it in one position. <laughs> Stop turning your eyeballs. <laughs> How am I supposed to do that now? Oh, yeah. Pupil, whatever this big round thing is called. <laughs> <It's> my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, sis. I think it's enough. I don't know, man. Where's the eyelashes? So these are our lashes. They're quite bold, though. Like you go hard. Mm -hmm. So we're talking, we're talking. All right, we're talking about like personal experiences. Yeah, like I got that a lot, especially I got that growing up outside, outside oh. my house. Oh, it's usually when you go out. Like, like in my house, there's nothing like you're ugly or you're pretty. Yeah, like nothing was acknowledged. But funny enough, it looks like these days, um, Nigerian, some of Nigerian, the Nigerian celebrities use musicians use darker skinned girls in their videos oh yeah because because of the whole movement now oh yeah obviously like i'm i'm seeing it more now and i'm appreciate i think because i didn't really um uh, my skin tone wasn't really a problem Much of an for issue. me yeah i didn't even notice it yeah <laughs> huh? no honestly I seriously <laughs> i didn't even notice it i didn't think it was like a thing yeah. Until I grew up and then I started seeing girls bleaching. I'm like, why are you bleaching? Exactly. Because I like, believe that skin you? is very beautiful. Like, why would you want to bleach and have dark knuckles walking around? Like, why? I just, I just, I did not think beauty was based on your skin color honestly i didn't think Until that Until obviously like growing up meeting people people telling you oh you're not that dark or like things like that and then it just makes you and they make it look as if when you say oh you're like, not that so, dark so, you should take it as a compliment like that's not a, that's not a compliment no. guys you're not that dark is not a compliment and it's not making me feel any type of way it's just like exactly. okay are you trying to say dark is not exactly ugly? so like what's your point or oh, i'm what are you indirectly really? saying i'm not that ugly what are you saying like? exactly like what is your point so i don't understand when people make it a huge so i think growing up and mingling with a lot of people just made me start like it obviously made me understand that there was a beauty standard oh yes there is and also remember when um beyonce is that i don't know if he said this but i think i've read something about it mm. where he said if beyonce was not lighter skin toned mm. she wouldn't have blown oh hey, wow no she's <laughs> <laughs> oh why not did you ever consider bleaching your skin no i've never considered bleaching my skin and funny enough i actually want to I don't know if they call it a non-profit or get like a thing where you go to schools and talk to mm -hmm. girls. I want to do that maybe like later on in the future. Like go to schools in Nigeria and talk to girls. To, like, oh, about love. like dark skin? Yeah. Yeah. I have. You have? Mm. You have considered it? Yeah. Oh, when was this? It was in Elysium. <laughs> It was like for a split second. Are you serious? But I knew I didn't want to use chemicals. Which one is So one? I was like, but I, it was like for a split second. I knew I didn't want to use chemicals, but what? I was like, why? Are, I think I was just deep in thoughts. Like, why are some people dark skin and why are some people light skin? Mm. So I started like just mm -hmm. researching 
to be like what makes people dark what makes people you researched it are you really really let's be honest well yeah, okay. the point is i went through that phase for yeah. like for like a day it didn't go it was like an evening to be very fair but the th the point is i was there yeah. <laughs> i think the only and the i only... was googling like what can you do to make your skin lighter without yeah out. yeah not by bleaching like is there like a natural way i feel like the only thing i've ever thought of changing mm. was to get chubby or get fatty a bit oh or my height i was wondering short. why i was always tall i wanted to be shorter yeah i wanted to like i feel like that okay let me see there are a few things i wanted to change i wanted to be shorter i wanted to gain weight which i, which I did you see me like it <laughs> oh funny enough i actually don't use mascara do you? Mm. i don't i don't see the purpose i just brush my look up let it yep we're almost done guys we're almost done yes yes we're almost done so for contour i usually use nw58 studio fix mac powder to contour my face so that's what i'm going to use on her as well must be nice though <laughs> must be nice really Mm -hmm. Right, so, so wanted to lighten, let's stick on the topic. I know, right? Of skin lightening. And I also feel it's young so girls. Actually, because I'm just thinking, imagine having like a little sister. Yeah. Like you have to be like. Have you had, sorry, have you had someone message you and ask you how you're so confident in your dark skin? No. A couple no, of No, but people tell me like you're. That one is stupid, sure. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what did they say? Like you're so pretty and you're dark skin. Like what? Like do you I mean? don't understand that. <laughs> no, like seriously. Like what like, do you mean exactly? Like it's like okay, a dark skin girl is not pretty. Like I, am I not supposed to be? It's like the default is ugly. Ugly. But yeah. you're pretty. You are going against the norm. The norm. <sighs> hmm. That used to shock me. I'm telling you, when somebody says, "Oh, you're so pretty for a dark skin mm. girl." I'm like, what do you mean I'm pretty for a dark skin? Oh, you're pretty for a Nigerian. What's that? And I, people that do not have to give compliments, be giving back. I'm telling you, I hate if you're giving compliments, just go directly. Do not compare. You're pretty or you're not, okay. Exactly. Or you're, no, don't come and tell me you're pretty for a dark skin dark girl. Skin girl Are you okay? You're pretty, you're too pretty to be Nigerian, or you don't look Nigerian, you're, you're pretty. What's that? Please keep your compliments what if that's I what you mean? want to do. I'm telling you, people tell me that so, that you don't look Nigerian. You're I've heard pretty. you don't look Nigerian, but like, in my head, but I'm like, like you don't look Nigerian. You're very pretty. So Nigerians are ugly. In my head, I'm like, so your sisters are ugly. <laughs> no, <laughs> like seriously. Honestly, though. Because if you're saying, oh, you don't look Nigerian, um, this, that, that, this. Mm. You're giving me the impression that you're, you're not, you don't find Nigerian girls attractive. Mm -hmm. So that means your sisters are not attractive. In your head, although you're not supposed to find this is attractive, though. Yeah. But basically, you're saying they're ugly. Yes, basically. But anyways, mm -hmm. that's it, man. Yeah. I feel like these societal things. Do you think parents need to play a role in building their daughters and sons? I feel like sons, guys, get away with it. Most girls. The like, guys are actually self-conscious. Dark skin guys are self-conscious. Are you danger. kidding me? I'm telling you. I've never heard of that. They don't. They are men. They will never tell you. But I've seen dark skin guys. Yeah. That are actually self-conscious of their. So it runs through. It's, it's like it's everyone. It's a two-way thing. Yeah. Oh. It's just that it's more for girls because well, we're girls and they want us to look beautiful mm. and like you know look a certain way. We are no. So, so do you think parents yes i believe so yeah because first off when you have young daughter i think one of the reasons why i don't know did my mom used to my mom never said so i much. didn't grow up with anyone telling me you're beautiful exactly but you know they, they're not they don't tell you you're ugly yeah yeah the, it's just like okay my mom i feel like because it was not acknowledged mm. it was not something i was 
in my that was in my head mm. do you get so it wasn't like um people are like constantly reassuring me i'm beautiful mm. and it would be in my head and probably doubt it or not doubt it i don't know but because it wasn't acknowledged it wasn't like a thought in my head mm. like am i beautiful am i not beautiful it, it just wasn't yeah you don't have to stress man and also like there are young girls out there what advice would you give to like young dark skinned girls who are insecure about their skin tones um like to how be you, honest how you think because i know it yeah. especially when it comes to being insecure about whatever it is mm. i know it's a personal problem so it most likely has to be like a proper conversation mm. of finding out why you're insecure and then you would like advise the person specifically based on that mm. if it's men <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> what if generally even if it's not just men like or if oh. it's yeah it depends that's what i'm saying like if it's your friends okay you're just feeling insecure about i feel what i'm going to, like it's just going to be cliche if it's general if it's not specific you know mm. it's going to be cliche because mm. mm-hmm. all i'm going to tell you is that love your dark skin there's nothing wrong with being dark skin I don't even understand where the problem stemmed from. I swear, like I don't even get it. Like it's, it's almost as if the darker you are, like the uglier you are, or Honestly. you're supposed to be. Another thing as well that I can also tell you is that get role models. It could be your parents. It could be like you can like on the on the internet. You on see internet. a lot of dark skin girls Follow playing, them. doing all of these things being confident in themselves i feel like it gives you like you feel like oh if this dark skin girl who is like equally dark skin as me can be this confident can like own her beauty own her you know do her thing you can also be you can also be that confident because you guys are not different i don't know if that yeah. makes sense just follow people on social media that are similar to you yeah in terms of like skin skin tones yeah so they can you know inspire inspire you you and stuff i don't think i can be a makeup artist (coughs) i don't have the patience So yeah, and if they're your friends, sometimes I feel like friends say things like the way I said people used to make jokes, but because it was not a thing for me, it didn't bother me. But if you have friends that make you self-conscious about you it, tell like, them, tell them, or talk to them one, two, three times, and they yeah, don't say, you leave them because it's not worth it. Like you're beautiful, and you don't need anyone else to 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 affirm it. Sure. And you definitely don't need anyone making you question that. And, oh yes, I wanted to tell you a story of how I went to this house gathering Mm. with like Nigerian boys. Was it recent? Yeah, very recent. This, was it this year? Mm -hmm. Last, ending of last year. And then this guy, there was this guy there that um, recently came from Nigeria. I think he was visiting mm. and then I was in the room with like Juni, Cynthia, three of us, yes, three mm. of us and we're all dark skinned but Cynthia is a little bit lighter than me. Mm-hmm. The guy entered the room and he was like, oh my gosh, your skin, like he was like, your skin is beautiful, like your yeah. skin are beautiful, actual dark skinned girls. Yeah. And I was like, in Nigeria, they are not dark. <laughs> like he was in my head. He was all playing in my head. Like he was, he made it seem as if he had not seen an actual dark, dark skin. skinned girl yeah, yeah. in a long time. And it got me thinking, like, what the hell are girls in Nigeria doing? Like, what are they doing? Like, are they all just bleaching, or what's happening? Because it's it was just so weird the way he was so shocked. Yeah. How? Are, this guy was so shocked. There are so many dark skinned people in Nigeria. Exactly. Maybe just the set of people he hangs out with. Maybe. Yeah. Now you see a tear dust area, you can just put your highlighter there. That's problem. Oh, it's on the cross. And people that like, um, 
bleach mm. when you think about it you just don't you like think about like the type of example you're setting like you're also if you bleach you're also part of the people calling dark skin girls ugly do you realize that well, some of them actually have issues like like they don't they don't really accept themselves they don't really have people to tell them they are beautiful, they're beautiful. so they believe that oh when they do this they're going to be accepted in, in the society meanwhile they don't know it takes a whole long process to actually bleach your skin and i feel like midway they just get tired of it and they can't go back can you revert back i don't know i think you don't look really good i don't know honestly i don't have that much knowledge with bleaching i just yeah. see people that have bleach i've seen people that are like dark skinned and now and now light skin and like things like that you know so mm. i have never really followed up with someone bleaching i don't know how it works mm -hmm. really and i've also seen bad bleaching work oh mm -hmm. i've seen that too that's what i've seen most of the time i've not seen like an actual i've seen i don't want to say bleach, good, bleach but like it doesn't look that actually, bad yeah hmm. i've There's never seen a smooth bleach what do you want for your lips um, I'm thinking nude. I feel like just applying lip gloss and we're good to go. Okay. Cause it doesn't. Do you want to use lip liner? No, your lips, your lips are already. Ha! Wow. Do you know in secondary school? Mm. They used to call me brats. Oh, because you have these naturally lined lips. Or what? And the shape and the size. You know, brats have big lips. Oh yeah. I think that's the one thing people really like came for me for in my body. Are you serious? My lips, yeah. I remember one time just sitting oh. and I was like, is there something wrong with my lips? But anyways, I remember my mom saying, because <laughs> my mom takes things extra. At first, at first she wasn't even part of the conversation. I was just right on this saying it. Mm. And she was like, like, what do you mean? Like, your lips are really good. People, t people get lip fillers to to yes. make their lips and at that point it was not a thing mm. i'm not going to lie so she was like people get lip fillers to make their lips more plump like you you have naturally you, like the lips that everyone oh, wants yes. like what's your problem <laughs> was her pep talk. i feel like if there's one thing i didn't like about myself would have been the lips because i used to get that one since i was very young mm. up, up until the secondary school up until people calling me brats up until like so many other things people are so mean man <laughs> Honestly, people are so mean and what's crazy is i loved brad <laughs> <laughs> but look at it now it was of recent they were doing the brad challenge right right i wanted i swear i wanted to jump on it just for that whole thing i'm like this is meant this was made for me <laughs> it was made but for yeah me. anyways that happened. I'm very okay with my lips now. I don't have anything I don't like about my body. Other than my teeth. Mm. So, so anyways, guys, this is Glory's handwork. She's done. What do you guys think? I feel like she did a good job. I know, I know. Like, hello. You push start booking me for your makeup appointment. Thank you. This is not how I would do my eyebrows. Definitely not. I know. It's not how I would want to do her eyebrows. But it was just not working out. I also go in a little bit more contour, but overall, this is really good. What do you want to contour again? I swear. Where are you contouring? My cheeks. Ha! It's not. Bitch, you're in the middle of the screen. Where are you going? <laughs> I feel like you were far away. I was supposed to be close. Yeah, because we kind of flipped our chair. Anyway, yeah. so you guys, what do you think? I feel like I feel like you did a good job, honestly. Thank you. I also feel like I did a really good job with yeah, your you hair. Yeah, you tried, you tried, you tried. Like Everyone you. has been giving you compliments. I yeah, did that. I'm actually not going to deny mm -hmm. that. Go I check it out on, on her channel. Yeah. Let me come closer so you guys will see the makeup. Yes, you need to show them. Mm -hmm. Show them very well, you know. See, it's a very nice neutral. I went for a lip gloss because it just complements the whole look. And a really neutral eyeshadow because, you know. And the foundation, Hawa has beautiful skin. The foundation just, oh, you know I mean? it just it just goes in like, thank you. Thank it you. blends into the skin, so that was great. She's a great muse. So in case you're looking for a, see, I'm about to market you out. Five so I, I swear. 
<laughs> Glory is always marketing me out. Oh my god. In case they're looking you. for someone thank to do you. makeup on their face, a dark skinned, beautiful girl, which we were just talking about. Yeah. You are all dark skinned. Yeah, all you dark oh, skinned. Beautiful. You guys are queens. You're yeah. beautiful. Your beauty does not. Because when people talk about beauty, they say, like, oh, beauty doesn't depend. It's not on the outside and blah, blah, blah. Even the one on the outside does not depend on your skin tone, honey. It really doesn't. You can be any shade, any color, and you'll be beautiful regardless. Thank you you. dark-skinned queens need to wear your skin with pride and, you know, own Elegance. It. Yeah. On it, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yes. This is, this is my handbook. How did I, how did I do? I'm going to rate you 10. No, then nine actually, right? nine. It's us. No, just because of the eyebrows, nine. But what? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Okay, why well, I agree is because Eunice also saw it that question. <laughs> That's why. Apart from that. But I other than really that, like, job. you did really good. You did. Yeah. Thank you. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Go to Glory's channel to see this particular video where I did this hairstyle. Mm -hmm. Also, subscribe because she's amazing, anyways. You better, you better do that. <laughs> also, subscribe to my channel because I make new videos. You know, it just comes. Just hit the <laughs> bell notification to get notified. <laughs> I've been trying to be consistent lately, so just, you know, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified. Follow her on her social media platforms, which are right on the screen, and mine as well, Instagram, Snapchat, all of that good stuff. And, you know, comment, share this video. Let me know, as a dark-skinned girl, what are the challenges you've ever, like, you know, faced. Yeah, and things like that. And as a light-skinned person, do you... Or maybe, I don't know. No, as a light-skinned person, do you think dark skin is not represented enough? yeah society. do you think or what are your thoughts yeah it? i feel like do you think light-skinned people know that dark-skinned people go through? whether they know the struggles yeah i don't think they do i don't know do you but i've do had you know? light skin people tell <laughs> i don't know me. i've had light-skinned people tell me they want to be darker i, I feel know. like it's because well um, sis it gives from god you can't get dark i'm sorry i mean like if, as a light skin i feel like you should love yourself as yeah, well yeah just love yourself yeah just love yourself what regardless skin tone or what skin color you are yeah and as a dark skin i wouldn't advise bleaching for whatever reason whatever your reason is just know that it will not solve it it would not i think knowing that will make you be like huh it's really not going to like solve whatever the think problem the is whatever the reason is it will not solve it so what's the point exactly you're what's just going the point to end up looking like a rainbow going through chemical changes and stuff and even if you don't look like a rainbow like what's the what what's really the point is it for men the men that love dark skin women will find you i know right honestly they will find you they you need someone to love they will find you for who you are and you know just your wholeness knowing you didn't have to compromise like a significant part of you and stuff like that anyways you're beautiful my queens i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>